let's discuss the ssrf server side request forgery basically it is the vulnerability server side vulnerability in which the attacker can easily get unauthorized access to the server by just modifying the malicious url and the request basically if the web server cannot be sanitized the input field and cannot be restrict the modified url then attacker can easily send the malicious url and the request to the server and server can easily give the resources and the information that are present in the server that's what the ssrf is let's see the diagram you see here like here is the attacker and here is the victim server and here is a web server so resources are fetched from the victim server okay uh, if the server cannot be sanitized or cannot be restrict the other urls so attacker can easily send the malicious url to the web server and web server send it that url to the victim server like here web server make the request on behalf of the users so victim server give the response with the resources and that resources are easily shown in the application and easily attacker can get the resources and the information so that's how the server side vulnerability and server side request forgery are work let's see one lab which you may help to better understand like how they actually ssrf work how we actually modify the url let's see uh, so i will only take the basic ssrf against the local server uh, from the port trigger uh, let's access the lab so yeah we will use the burp suit and all like let, let's read this lab has the stock check feature which fetch the data from the internal system and to solve the lab change the stock check the url to access the admin interface at local host admin and delete the carlos so our main motive and main goal is to delete the carlos user without accessing the admin panel and we we have like in this application there is a stock check feature which is fetch the data from the internal system let us tell you like there is any information or resources that are fetch or retrieve from the third party or any internal system so we intercept it to the burp suit and see it where is the resource come from okay let's see like uh, here is a lab you can see uh, let's go to the view details and here you see there is the option of check stock okay uh, let's re uh, let's load it to the web browser and intercept it which help you to better understanding that's why i load it to the web browser like this it is a tool you or uh, you know and you familiar about this so let's load this so you can see here is a check stock if i click it he will fetch the resources and the information like how many stocks are present of this like single use food hybrid like there are the 860 units so it will fetch this Let, let's intercept this and see where is come from okay uh, let's open the intercept like i on the intercept and refresh it okay and also click here so you can see here is a request and uh, you can see here is the stock api and this is the url where the resources are come from okay that's how i told you like any type of resources that are come from an internal system and and any any third party so you can see here is the url let's send it to the repeater and check the response of this request uh, so you can see it will give the stock unit like how many stocks are present by fetching the resources from this url okay here you can proper read the url it is a decoded form uh, so like stock.velicat.sop.net so this is the 
थर्ड पार्टी ऐप थर्ड पार्टी एप्लीकेशन इन दैट द एप्लीकेशन यूज द ए पी आई ऑफ दिस सो इन द एस एस आर एफ बट आई से आई जस्ट अटैकर कैन जस्ट मॉडिफाई द यू आर एल एंड इफ द सर्वर कैन नॉट बी सैनिटाइज द इनपुट फील्ड एंड कैन नॉट बी रिस्ट्रिक्ट द अदर यू आर एल सो माई मॉडिफाइड यू आर एल विल ऑल्सो वर्क एंड विल ऑल्सो गिव द रिस्पॉन्स टू मी सो लेट्स सी हाउ दे वर्क ओके सपोज आई राइट द लोकल होस्ट आई पी एड्रेस बिकॉज इन द लैब ही विल ही विल टेल एस द यू कैन यूज द लोकल होस्ट इंटरफेस यर यू विल सी लाइक लोकल होस्ट एडमिन एंड डिलेट द यूजर कार्लोस सो इट सो या इफ यू टेस्ट दिस वर्नेबिलिटी सो यू विल ऑलवेज स्टार्ट विद द लोकल होस्ट एंड देन स्टार्ट टू मॉडिफाइंग द यू आर एल लाइक यू कैन फर्स्ट चेक द चेक टू मॉडिफाई द यू आर एल विद द लोकल होस्ट समटाइम इट्स ईजली वर्क आई थिंक दैट्स वर्क एंड दैट्स ओ आई थिंक वी ऑल्सो नीड टू गिव द पोर्ट नंबर ऑल्सो या दैट्स वर्क आई थिंक वेट 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 आई विल चेक हेयर या दैट्स वर्क आई थिंक सो लेट्स डू दिस एंड सेंड इट टू दिस यू कैन सी हेयर ही विल गिव द इंटरनल सर्वर एरर इफ आई इफ यू सी देर आर इंटरनल सर्वर एरर विच मीन्स इट कैन नॉट बी रिस्ट्रिक्ट द अदर यू आर एल इफ सर्वर कैन गिव द इंटरनल एरर विच मीन्स इट इज वर्नीबल विद द एस एस आर एफ विच मीन्स आई ईजली मॉडिफाई द यू आर एल एंड फाइंड द फाइंड द एग्जैक्ट रिक्वेस्ट and give and give the resources uh, with the help of server okay so uh, here you can easily understand like if i modify the url then he will easily give the internal server error sorry error which easily tell us that it is vulnerable with the ssrf so that's how they work like uh, let's move forward okay uh let's check any other let's modify the url here you can see like is there any thing that are modified wait okay and we need to access the admin panel so we need a 200 status code by modifying the url which help us to uh, give all the list of the users that are present in the application you can see like he is in the still he is in the reload because i mind i cannot be off the intercept uh let's see here like which so i try to modify the ip addresses of this and check it like is there any other request that are present in this which easily accept this or not let's see like i write the ip address of the local hosts let's write a simple local host here okay and see what what's happen okay simple local host yeah i uh, because here is a point like in this stock api it cannot be write it as the ip address it is write it with the domain name so it may cause like uh, if i write the ip address it give it basically it tell like it tell the it is vulnerable with the ssrf but it cannot be exactly executed so let's write a domain only theek hai localhost domain and then see it like is there any changes that we see in the response or not here you can see it will easily give the 200 status code which accept the url like i already told you there is any modified url with the server easily accept it and give the response with the successful request okay success request which is 200 status code so uh, we easily find the modified url which accept the server uh, so let's copy this url and uh, here paste it and send it to the 
and basically forward the request okay forward this request and of the intercept okay let's see like i forward the request but here there is no any change wait okay i again again intercept it and here i modify this and forward it here you can see it will show the list of the carlos i cannot be access the admin panel basically i cannot be broke the access control but still i will see the list of the users that are present in this and what's my goal is to delete the carlos user so i just delete the carlos user but here is the point like we need to intercept off and see what's happened if i delayed the carlos user still it cannot be deleted it show the list of the user in the website but still it cannot be deleted why because what what he will say admin interface only available if logged in as the administrator or if requested from the loop back so basically i cannot be a admin and i cannot be access the admin admin panel administrator panel so how we delete it so here is the point yeah we cannot be deleted but we see the information that are present in this like we see the list of the user so yeah we also delete this which means if i give the request or modified url which are accepted by the server so if if i give the url to uh, to give the url with the delete username carlos so it will also accept this which means serve without any access the admin panel server can easily accept this request and easily delete the carlos that's work what i want to say that you understand so let's copy this and go to the repeater and here you paste it oh wait yeah here you paste it let's match the i'm right or not yeah delete username carlos and delete username carlos so oh wait 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 here is the encoded we need to encode this so we need to write here and apply changes so here i modify the url and what i modified like i directly write to delete the carlos user if the server can accept the admin part so server can also accept that part also like it will server can delete the carlos without accessing the admin panel i can delete by this let's send it to the repeater and see the response here you can see the 302 found which means 302 means the temporary redirection so it will it will redirect to the let's see where it will redirect you can see follow the redirection so you will see like i redirect to the admin which means it will accept it and it will delete it here is the unauthorized but you will see where i redirect admin in the admin panel which means it will delete it let's i uh, show you here you can see congratulations you solved the loyal app basically i delete i successfully deleted the carlos like i also see you the proof i also see you the proof uh, let's again go here like wait wait let's again go here and uh, which let's again go here on the intercept i also see you the proof that i i deleted to the carlos server can delete this because server can accept my request uh, i will show you the proof uh, here you can see and i first i modify this and again we go to the admin part basically list of the user where we see local host slash admin okay and forward this and here you can see in the list of the user there is only uh, winner carlos is not present which means i successfully delayed this 
so basically that's how the ssrf work uh, like i give you the summary of this basically if the server can use uh, any third party and or any third party applications to fetch the resources and server cannot be restrict or cannot be sanitize the input field then attacker can easily modify the url and try to get the resources and the information that are present in the server so basically that's how the ssrf works server side request policy